my name is Desiree Brown. I am a member of the piano ensemble group, the Five Browns. And this is my daughter, Poppy. Poppy. We're here, we're gonna chat today a little bit about taking piano lessons, how parents can help their kids get motivated for that and inspired for performances. Uh, we're also gonna read a little bit from the children's book, Henry the Steinway, from the Henry the Steinway series. But before we start, uh, we're gonna play a little piano duet for you. This is one of two pieces from Bruckner's Two Little Pieces. So as I said, I play with the five Browns, uh, all brothers and sisters. We play on five pianos. We've been performing together for 16 years now and have recorded eight studio albums together. So there's, needless to say, a lot of music in my life growing up and professionally. And now with my own family, Poppy, and my son Rowan both play the piano. Um, we're going to start just, we're going to have a couple questions with Poppy here about what piano, playing the piano is like for you. What, uh, what do you think about when you play the piano? Um, I think about all the things I need to think about, like all my fingers, dynamics, the um, counting, and I always have a little story in my head for every song I play. A little story? What kind of stories do you think about? I can't, I can only remember them when I play. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, what do you do at home when you're practicing and you get frustrated? I just try to take a deep breath and push through or you like take a little sip of water and then come back and push through and take a deep breath and start playing again. Right, and we, sometimes we'll say at home like you just try, try again, or what about mistakes? Well, mistakes are good because you can learn from them. Yeah, we always learn from mistakes, and nobody gets everything right on the first try. We talk about that a lot, huh? Um, what, what time of day do you practice? Is it like some days we practice or some days we don't, or do we almost always practice every day? We almost practice every day. Yeah, usually after school, and it's kind of like we brush your teeth, we go to school, and we practice the piano every day. doesn't mean you have to be a professional musician, but... We just do that every day at our home. Yeah. Do you have any questions for me? Um, why did you choose to have this job? Why did I choose to have this job? You know, I took piano lessons like you growing up, and I played the piano every day, and I loved being able to have feelings and stories and express those ideas when I play the piano. And as I got older and thought about going to college, I, it was really hard for me to imagine going through every day not making music, not playing. So I decided to go to a music school, and that's how I came to have this job. Do you have any other questions? Mm, why do you like playing the piano? I like playing the piano first and foremost because I like the sounds it makes. The sounds are really beautiful and you can create so many harmonies because you have, you can play so many notes at one time. It's a large instrument. And uh, I like being able to express my feelings. I think that's one of the most important things. Yeah. Um, for the adults at home, uh, a lot of people ask, uh, how can I motivate my child to practice every day? Um, it shouldn't really be necessarily a decision you make every day. We've kind of decided this is something we do every day, like we said, like brushing your teeth, going to school, making your bed. It's just part of the daily schedule. And what are the reason piano lessons were so good for me growing up is I felt like it, <laughs> it made me smarter. It, it made my schoolwork feel easy in comparison. 
And there have been studies since that um, have proven that playing the piano, frankly, just makes your children smarter. It also is a lovely gateway to understanding art um, and really having the beautiful richness of art um, be something that they can enjoy for the rest of their lives. Doesn't mean you have to be a professional musician, but it really will bring so much beauty and joy to their life. Because um, Poppy, we go to theater, we go to dance concerts, we go to concerts. But before uh, we play any more music, here's this special book. Poppy loves this book. She's been reading it since she was tiny. And we're going to read a little bit of Henry the Steinway and the Piano Recital. Every spring, Miss Eureka's students present their annual piano recital at the famous Steinway Hall. Now children, May 1st is our special day, only one week away. It is very important to concentrate on your music and practice, practice, practice. Anna stared out the tall window in Miss Eureka's studio. It was still gently raining for the first time, Anna noticed tiny green leaves on all the trees and a fluffy nest with blue eggs in it. Anna looked forward to putting on her red boots and going puddle hopping. She was not looking forward to the spring recital. Anna, it's your turn to play, said Miss Eureka. Startled from her daydream, Anna wished that she could hide. Instead, she took her place at the grand piano and started to play. Oh, what a disaster. She forgot the notes. She forgot the rhythm. She forgot everything. Anna could not play her music. The room became very quiet. All the children looked down at the floor. Miss Eureka's glasses slid to the end of her nose as she slowly closed her music folder. Anna, you must practice every day. Concentrate on your music. There was no time to waste. On her way home, Anna stomped and splashed in every puddle. Her face still felt hot with shame. How could she forget her music? How could she forget to count the rhythm? How could she forget everything? Anna hung her dripping slicker in the hall closet and placed her muddy boots on the mat. She headed straight to her father's big black grand piano. She looked at all the framed photographs of her father playing in concert. He was a famous pianist and often traveled all over the world. Anna saw her piece, Fur Elise, on the music desk. I'm going to play just a little bit of Fur Elise right now so we can know what the music sound sounds like that Anna will be playing. I think most of you will be familiar with it.
She sat down on the bench and began to play. Anna tried to concentrate and focus on the music. She remembered what Miss Eureka said, but the notes still came out all wrong. Anna hung her head and began to cry. Great big tears rolled down her cheeks and fell onto the keyboard. Anna's tiny shoulders heaved and she sobbed. Oh, this is hopeless. Recitals are stupid. I just can't play. Excuse me, Anna dear. You'll get me all wet. Anna sat bolt upright and to her astonishment watched the piano give her a quick wink and a smile. Anna whispered quietly, what did you say? I said you'll get me all wet and everyone knows that water and Steinways don't mix. My name is Henry, by the way, Henry the Steinway. And this, from this point on in the story, Anna and Henry become very best of friends. And Henry helps inspire her and tells her to think about feelings and stories when she plays. And she practices and begins to love making music with Henry. And he becomes one of her best friends for her whole life. Because whether she's happy or sad or anything in between, he will always be there for her for the rest of her life. Isn't that so wonderful? Aw. And Poppy feels like that about our Steinway at home. Anyway, Henry the Steinway. Now Poppy's going to play for us just like Anna did in her recital. What are you going to play for us? I'm going to be playing Little Flower by Girl It. Okay. <laughs> So Poppy, tell me how long do you think you practice every day? You know how long we practice? Mm -mm. Not really sure. Mm -hmm. We usually probably practice about 45 minutes a day. And that's about how long your piano lessons are too. Um, but you also spend a lot of time in the day doing what? Um, playing my own pieces at home. Yeah, you spend probably at least another 45 minutes in the day just composing at the piano, she loves to compose. So she's spending a lot of time playing, <clears throat> but some of that I practice with her and some of that I'll say, oh, just do this part and then I'll come back, right? Yeah, so a little bit she can practice by herself and a little bit with me. Do you remember when you were getting ready for your recital at Steinway Hall? <laughs> remember? How did it feel getting ready to play a recital all by yourself? Exciting and a little nervous. A little nervous. What did we do to help you like, still get up and play and be excited even though you were nervous? Um, like you told me, um, it's okay to mess up yeah. and we can just start over. Yeah. And that made me feel a lot better. Yeah, and we played for a lot of people too. Do you remember that? We, we would do little FaceTimes or play, yeah. have friends come over. We probably mm -hmm. played for 10, had 10 little mock performances before you actually played your recital. And what, the day of the recital, while you were playing, how did it feel? Very exciting and happy. Oh. So fun. And then what did your little friends do after? They gave me 
tons of flowers. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they give you lots of tons. flowers. And what else did you get? I got um, little like little little dragon dragon little f buddies. Uh, little that toys. Yeah. Some people give you toys. And, and what else did you get that had your name on it? It was golden. A trophy. You got a little trophy, and it's in her room now. And you were super excited about mm -hmm. that. Do you remember? Yeah. Do you want to play another recital sometime? Yes. <laughs> you do keep asking about it. <laughs> I'm like, can I practice for her now? <laughs> yeah, maybe next time you'll play a recital with your brother. Okay. Maybe you could do that. Mm. <laughs> I want the easy one. You want the easy <laughs> one? <laughs> so do you ever think about Henry the Steinway when you're like practicing or playing at home by yourself? All the time. You do? Do you think about him, like, does he give you ideas? He gives me lots of ideas, and he, every piano, he reminds me of, uh, every pian piano, uh, they remind me of Henry, yeah. and Henry helps me get ready for recitals and stuff. Oh, that's so, so he is kind of like your real friend. Yeah. Aww. Well, thank you so much for coming to our chat today. Um, maybe we talked about some of the things going on in your household when you're practicing or having your child practice. Um, these are just some of the solutions that we've come up with. Hopefully, um, maybe it can give you some ideas uh, about practicing at home with your child. Um, and we really enjoy reading Henry the Steinway at our home. It's been super helpful, especially getting ready for performances. So thank you for coming today.